What is missing in your life? My friend, are you dead or alive? Do you ever feel that there is something important missing from your life? A vital part of your existence that isn't there and has never been there? An empty void and longing deep within the depths of your soul crying out to be filled? If you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ on a personal basis, that is the problem. God, the giver and sustainer of life, is missing from your life. The Bible says that without Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, you are dead in trespasses and sin. Sins. Ephesians 2 1. How did it happen? In the Garden of Eden before man's fall, Adam and Eve were alive. That is, they were spiritually alive. They walked in perfection and oneness with God, and the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of, of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it, for in the day that thou eatest thereof thou shalt surely die. Genesis two sixteen seventeen. On that day when they disobeyed God and ate of the fruit, they died a spiritual death. Sin entered in, and they were separated from God. Since then, every one of us has been born into sin. Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. Romans 5, 12. Behold, I was shaken in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Psalm 51, 5. As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. Romans 3, 10. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. The results of sin are a spiritual death, a physical death, and if you die without Jesus Christ, an eternal death. This is eternal separation from God in the lake of fire. What has been done about it? Jesus Christ, the God-man, was not a particular partaker of man's sinful bloodline. He was perfect, sinless, righteous, holy, born of a virgin and God in the flesh. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him not was not anything made that was made. John 1, 1 through 3. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory. The glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth, John 1, 14. He came to seek and sa to save that which was lost. He offered himself the perfect, sinless sacrifice unto God to redeem man from the sin which separates him from God. He came to give life back unto men. I, came, I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly, John 10, 10. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that heareth my word, and believeth on him that sent me, hath everlasting life, and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. Verily, verily, I say unto you, the hour is coming, and now is, when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and they that hear, and they that hear shall live. John five twenty four to 25 Now it is up to you, my friend. Do you hear his voice calling you through these scriptures? He wants to breathe life into you. This receiving of new life from Jesus Christ is what he called being born again. We see this in the Bible when Jesus tells Nicodemus, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which, which, that which is born of the spirit is spirit, John 3, 3 and 6. My friend, repent, turn to God from your sin, and embrace the Lord Jesus Christ by faith and be born again. Of God. God promised in Romans 10 9 that, that if thou should confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. When you turn to God, the missing link will be found and the empty void will be filled. You will be with God. He will be your Father and you will be his Son. You can rejoice with us in this great truth forever. Amen. He that hath the Son hath life, and he that hath not the Son of God hath not life. First John five twelve.